the World Economic Forum has just happened in Davos, as people may know. But what people may not know about this meeting of the world's richest um, sociopathic and elite people is that it is also a meeting place for the escorts. That's right. Um, let's look at this, this article here from T4T, WEF as a networking platform for escorts. The World Economic Forum in Davos is not only a meeting place for the global elite, but also the escort scene. Business is booming, not only because of the good earning opportunities, the chances to make lucrative contacts is a growing attraction for many escorts. Several hundred escorts are once again expected in Davos for this year's WEF. The prices for the services of escorts at the WEF are high, and the earning prospects are good. Well, that's... Let me, let me stop you there, article, because in researching for this video, we seem to have discovered that the cost of living crisis has hit Davos with much availability for these escorts, meaning many of them aren't being hired. It seems like the pinch is hitting the elites, <laughs> making the meeting a lucrative opportunity for the providers, so much so that escort providers travel from all over the world to Davos, especially for the WEF. According to the study, The Economics of Sex Trafficking, a global review, by the International Labour Organization and the International Organization for Migration, a revenue of up to 10 million US dollars is generated by paid sex services during the WEF. But once again, that figure is likely lower this year because that credit crunch, that cost of living crisis, it's seeping in, it's hitting everywhere, especially, it would seem, the escorting services at Davos. It's not just about sex anymore. It's not just the quick money that attracts many women to Davos. Escorts at the WEF often not only have the opportunity to earn a secure, immediate income, but also the chance to get into dialogue with business people from all over the world and make new contacts. This can prove to be beneficial for them in the long term, and it's quite in line with this year's WEF motto, Building Trustful relationship. Now, regardless of what people think about the WEF, what, what conspiracy theories or, or not conspiracy theories, depending on your perspective, people have about the WEF, I don't think with the wider public they are building trustful relationships. Certainly if you look on social media, the wider public want nothing to do with these people and nothing to do with their agendas. Anyway, let's continue. For example, an escort from Germany recently reported that her contacts at the WEF had gotten her a new job as a consultant for a large company. Well, what's she consulting on? Another escort lady from Russia was able to conclude a contract with a modeling agency through her contacts at the WEF. Well, you see, that sort of thing I can sort of get, I can see, and I can understand, but a consulting contract? Nah, beggar's belief. But I guess it is what it is. Digital escort networking. This trend is simplified by digital matching platforms for providers and consumers of escort services. And once again, we took a look into this. We did take a look into this. We sent Adam to take a look into this mostly. But it looks like there is a lot of availability this year. That credit crunch, people. That pinch. It's hitting. <gasps> With just a few clicks, a businessman gets all the escorts currently in Davos displayed on the screen of his smartphone. He just has to choose who he likes best based on appearance, offer, or ratings, says Conrad Bresnik, owner of the Tit for Tat platform a combination of Tinder and LinkedIn for paid dates. I don't recall having to pay people on Tinder or LinkedIn. Just don't, don't recall that. Both sides have the opportunity to communicate in an AI translated chat in their native language. And not just about sex, but also about collaborations and further engagements after the WEF 
How many of them are realistically doing that? Come on. How many of them are realistically doing that? You found the one or two that got a consulting job, still a bit confused by that, got a modeling job. But I'm telling you now, most of these people, if they're even getting hired, because like I said, Adam did the research. And if they're even getting hired, they're not getting high level consulting gigs. Men at Davos and women, let's not be not be sexist here. Men and women at Davos are definitely not hiring these people so that they can give them high powered, high paying jobs. They are hiring these people for company and other things. It's not just about sex, but also about collaborations and further engagements after the WEF. A trend is already emerging as the chat function is being actively used. Growth figures of over 300% per month, which are likely to be exceeded during the WEF, also show that there is a need for such platforms. Is there though? Is there? I remember a time when we just met people and we tried to court them or woo them and, you know, have a partner. What happened to that? I mean, I guess this advent of social media and these platforms kind of happened to that where people can swipe left, swipe right, and find quick, emotionless, meaningless hookups. Although we don't know the exact content of the chat messages, well, I would hope so, we strongly assume that they are also used to discuss long-term agreements, says Bresnik. And uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push back, Bresnik, because I strongly assume that they are not being used for that. I strongly assume that they are I, I vehemently assume that they are not being used for that. But anyway, this is what happens, right? These high powered, these elite people, men and women, they go to these meetings, they pretend that they're better than you. They want to create agendas which will control your lives and put them at the head, of course. And they want the status. So what they do is they go and hire if they can afford it, because once again, credit crunch. If they can afford it, they'll go and hire a, an, an attractive young woman to go on their arm. Or, you know, they just want a little bit of a secret play away if they are married, which is wrong, by the way. Wrong. Shouldn't be doing that. But that's where we are. Davos is swimming with sex work. It's swinging i guess with far more than that but that's another rabbit hole for people to go down of their own accord and these crazed psychopathic elites that they self-define as want to create an image of this lifestyle that says i'm better than you they're not better than you you are just as good as them. And remember that. Don't go and hire <laughs> <'cause>... <laughs> mm.